I want to move on, if that's okay, over to um, another part of your life, which I do know sure, a little sure. bit about, which is the online male self-improvement community. Um, I hear that you are part of that community. How did that come about? Was it sort of the red pill stuff or the dating advice space or a mix of both? What sort of part of that were you? Yeah, involved? so again, I, I have to repeat that I'm old. So for me, <laughs> it wasn't even called red pill back then. Back what then, it red pill. <laughs> it was it was simply called pick up, yeah, just yeah. pick up, so picking up girls, pick up. Back then, red pill used to be something that is classified now as conspiracy theories, basically. Yeah. So red pill was anything that goes anti-establishment. What is the truth of nine eleven, etc., etc. That was red pill, mm -hmm. and yeah, the dating advice was simply called pick up, and that happened when I was still uh, nineteen, early twenties. I actually picked up a book, right, and. It was Ask what the book was. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the first one was a German book, actually. It was called Lob des Sexismus, which means how do I translate this? Uh, it means honoring sex honoring sexism, basically, right? Okay. okay. And yeah, it was mainly about what it means to be a man, what it means to be a woman. However, it absolutely fits it into my worldview during that time because I wasn't very religious and mm -hmm. I started believing in evolution, Darwinism, biology itself due to bodybuilding, basically. So I thought, okay, we are our bodies. And mm -hmm. this book was very evolutionary. So it was speaking about the man as the alpha male, what kind of attributes he has to have in order to attract women. And males are made to procreate with as many women as possible. Marriage is a construct, etc., etc. You know. So after reading that book with 19 or so, I got totally brainwashed and yeah, I was just bodybuilding. I was this very, very buff dude at that time. I was 115 kilograms, super huge. And I thought, okay, I'm on the right track here. This is what we're supposed to do. We are, we're taking our body. We are enhancing it to the very max. We are making it as masculine as possible. And now I'm just going to go out and conquer the world. You know, get as many women as possible. And that was the idea. And <laughs> Conquer the world, get as many women as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really the idea back then. And yeah, I read a few other books. So ultimately... The dating advice back then was uh, very juvenile. It was a bunch of nerds that were writing those books, to be totally honest, and they didn't really have any social skills. So therefore, they tried to sneak into conversations with women. For example, they would ask them super dumb stuff, you know, like, do you brush your teeth before you floss or do you floss first? Like some random stupid question. And then you would get into that conversation. And I felt right away that this is not really what I want to go after. So I gradually pros progressed and there were other dating advice out there as well during that time they were more aggressive so you have to be assertive and all of those things so long story short it was even before it became an online community there were books circulating everywhere and i met up with people from america from croatia i remember the uk and we would even meet up just to pursue women you know so we would meet up in different countries as well and do that and yeah during that time i mean as a 20 year old it is gratifying in the short term, of course, you know, I mean, eating a cheeseburger is gratifying as well. But in the long run, you get a heart attack and you get fat, you know, so therefore, of course, there is something to it that will trigger your dopamine that will make you feel better. Otherwise, nobody will go after it. Right. Yes. If there was no pleasure associated with it, then it would be easy for us to abstain from that. Nowadays, of course, I understand that that was sinful, that there was me chasing pleasures. But back then, I didn't understand it. And as I said, I would blame it not necessarily on the red pill movement. I would blame it on a godless society. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have God at all, then you have, as I said, an evolutionary framework. You have a Darwinistic worldview. And mm -hmm. if you have that, then all you got is this biological monkey that evolved. Mm -hmm. And so why would you then adhere to any type of morals? Why would you even care about anything of a higher value, higher purpose? That doesn't interest you whatsoever, especially not if there is no afterlife and the lamps go off, right? The lights mm -hmm. go out and yeah, everything that you lived through is essentially nothingness. It is nihilism, right? Everything that you did, good or evil, does not count. So the only real that you can grasp onto is your pleasure. That's it. Mm -hmm. There's literally nothing. And that's why they tell you YOLO, live in the day. You only have one life, whatever. And that's all you got, especially as a 20 year old that doesn't look any further, right? And so for me, it made sense. Okay, what do I got? I got a body, so I do bodybuilding. What else do I got? I got an evolutionary framework without God. Okay, so what am I supposed to do as a man? I'm supposed to procreate with as many women as possible. Okay, I do that then. 
So then there's only one link missing here. I need money to sustain that lifestyle so I can start selling drugs. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. So this was my matrix, my trinity of absolute degeneracy. But I can understand myself. I can't even blame myself because I was a product of that society, ultimately. You know? The older we get, we have to take responsibility. But I see that in this day and age, now even worse than during my times, there is no other option given to the youth. You know, and of course, we as Muslims believe that Islam is the solution to all of those problems. It's it's, it's really sad. I see so many people going through this. Oh, we've lost you. No, okay. Was me. Was me. Yeah, that's okay. We've seen we see so many people go through this recently, especially men, because men currently don't know how to be men, so they fall into either, you know, the trap of this of being part of drugs, alcohol, women, or they fall into the trap of becoming women um you know that it's just like two options really that they have um, and then sure. women now want to be men they want to be feminist and they want to run the world and it's um yeah it's sad but i can understand how they fall into that because like you said if they've got nothing else they have no faith and faith having a faith is not cool right now um so they became they become like this because this becomes their god and this becomes what they want to be um it's really sad. yeah sure but moreover I trace it back to weak men. You know, we as men, we have to take full responsibility because the Red Pill movement, why I personally don't, dis don't agree with it whatsoever, is because it has one major flaw, right? They say, okay, look at all those women. They're promiscuous. Show me your body count. They go from man to man. And of course, that is very demoralizing for a man. Of course, we as men ideally would like to have a virgin, sure. However, the Red Pill enables this. So mm -hmm. you say women are not allowed to be promiscuous. I agree. Mm -hmm. But if you jump from woman to woman, then you make them into women that are promiscuous and yourself included. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is where it does not work. The ideology is not congruent. You cannot tell me that all of those women do something wrong, but you are engaged. You're enabling those women to do something wrong. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you are against pornography or you're against prostitution, there could be a million of prostitutes out there. If nobody would go there and enable that business, then those prostitutes would be prostitutes by name, but not by action. It would be impossible because nobody would engage in that business. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with the dating scene. So if you're against that, then you cannot be engaged with it. And that's what mm -hmm. I understood later in my life as well. You know, I hated this degeneracy. And this is what the Red Bull talks against. Oh, look at this degeneracy. You are part of it directly. <laughs> you are creating it. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, once you understand that, you see how flawed this ideology is. And therefore, the only solution, yet again, which Islam offers here, of course, is sex after marriage, right? Yeah. It is weddings, it is marriage. And, yeah, once men understand that and they cherish and respect women that are staying virgin or are women that actually want to get married and do not go to those promiscuous women, then it would die out. But as long as men are weak and fall for such women, then they're just enabling it. Mm -hmm. And women ultimately, in this day and age, they don't understand it because they don't understand what the true nature is, of course. The woman wants to bind the man to her. Of course, she wants that. That is her role. That is her purpose. She wants to bind the man to her. She wants children of that man, of course. Mm -hmm. However, nowadays, this is mistaken with attention. Mm -hmm. And the woman doesn't understand that what she really wants is to bind a man to her and get kids. Mm -hmm. Instead, she thinks, oh, just quick attention will fix this. Yeah. And then they do it during the 20s and then the 30s, they're shattered. I have so many past girlfriends, if you will, that are absolutely shattered in their 30s now. And I'm not saying that to be funny here. It's really the case. Now they're dog mummies. You know, now they're buying a dog and men are evil and we are feminists, etc., etc., etc. You know, but nevertheless, we as men should take full responsibility here, I believe, because the woman will follow. And we as men, we have to become strong and return to God first and lead the society and abstain from those sins first and foremost. Because if we abstain, then there is absolutely no degeneracy to commit. So do you think that's what the solution of our society today is? Is that men coming to, to Islam or just to God in general and becoming men again? Do you think that's what the solution is to 